school the time is now 5 35 and i just wanted to come up here and share with you guys that i will be doing a week in a life this week it is the first business day of the month meaning this week is dedicated to closing of october but today is monday and it's going to be a little different because i am off today i am off today because i am taking the reg section of the cpa exam I do have to log into my computer to put my out of office on because I did not do that on Friday before I logged off. As you can see, I am at home. We've been working from home since the beginning of the pandemic and it's it's been pretty nice, especially with my pregnancy. I've, I've really enjoyed this piece of it but this week i will be going through like the motions of what i'll be doing every day but today as you guys know i am off because i do have my test and then after my test i'm going out with my sister and then i do have a doctor's appointment so today is a pretty busy day right now i'm just getting the last of my stuff ready to leave i have to be at the testing center by 7. it's now 5 37 so i do have to print off my nts Wait until the last minute. I know I didn't want to do anything yesterday. So wait until the last minute for that. So I have to print that stuff off. And then I am going to record the beginning parts of my CPA exam experience, which I do every time. So before I leave in the morning, I just make a video of how I'm feeling about the test and things like that. And that's about it. That's pretty much all I'm doing today. So I need to go ahead and plug this printer up. Where it is going to get plugged up yet, I do not know. But I have to plug that up so I can print these papers off. And then I'm just going to review a little bit before I leave. And that is it. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd. It is election day, so I hope you guys have gotten out or are getting out later to go vote. I voted early so that I didn't have to sit in those crazy lines or stand in those crazy lines. I actually voted on Saturday and I stood in the line for an hour. But it is now 6.51 a.m. I did not wake up as early as I wanted to, but enough to at least give me an hour in of studying. So. I'm starting BEC today. I think my test went well yesterday. It kind of scares me a bit that I actually think I did okay, which is weird. But yeah, we're just gonna sit that to the side until the 24th test release day. Today I start BEC, so I am going to start studying for that. I already have my schedule made. So I'm just going to sit and listen to lectures for about an hour and then I'll start working. I don't know what to expect today because I was out yesterday. I should not have a lot of emails, but we'll see when I log in. And once I log in, then I'll go ahead and make my to-do list of what needs to get done so I will see you guys in a few I already went through all of my emails. There were only about maybe 20 of them and they were more so informative than things that I actually had to do, which is good. So today I can start on October's closing. I am going to pull up our closing checklist and kind of just go through that to write down what I need to do for today. So I'm gonna knock out as much as I can today. One, because I was off yesterday and I am off early on Friday. So throughout this week, I will be making up my time to leave early on Friday because I don't wanna use all of my PTO. So this morning, what do I have to do? I have to do, let's write in, write in. <laughs> Thank you. 
today I need to not work related. Email tray for interview questions. So my cousin has a project that she waited till the last minute to email me the questions for. She's such a kid. So I forgot to do it last night, so I have to do that sometime today. So hopefully that gets done. As you can see, I'm gonna have a pretty busy day um, and it's all based on my journal entries, which I think everything could, everything can pretty much be done. Just no slacking today. I wanna go ahead and start on my daily task and once my daily tasks are done, I am going to start with these journal entries and that's pretty much what my day is gonna be. Journal entries and following up with people via email on items that need to be done so that we can close in a timely manner. So, let's get started. It is 1.36 p.m. and I feel like that I did not get a lot done, but I think compared to my to-do list today, I did pretty well for myself and it's still not over. So, let's see here. I got the daily financial done. I did the interface batches. I did not have to do the change fund or the contract escrow journal entries. I completed sump pump, public surplus, prepaid, and unearned. And the last three I did not have to do. And I also emailed the warehouse. Oh, and I did do my email for my little cousin. So, I, I had a pretty good day today. So now I just have to do these last two that's on the list, check on the billable work orders and follow up on fixed assets. So that's probably going to take me the rest of the day. So, I mean, I guess I said I did pretty good. I worked through my lunch and I'm working until five. I usually get off till four. So even more than what I have on my list actually might get done, which is a good thing. Um, Moving right along with everything. That's really all I have for today. There was a mishap this morning where one of the files didn't come through our system, but they fixed it in about an hour. So I was able to get that file and do what I needed to do on my end. So I am gonna go back to doing these last two items and I'll see you guys later on. I completed everything on my to-do list. Go me, because that usually does not happen. But I really didn't have any interruptions today. And what I mean by interruptions, I mean things that I get emailed about and I need to put what I have on hold to work on that. None of that happened today. So hopefully the rest of the week goes that way so that I can finish everything up. Right now I am working on getting these fixed assets into the system. There are about 17 assets that I need to put into the system that I will work on probably tomorrow. So that's gonna take up most of my afternoon. And then after that, we'll see what else there is that needs to get done. But that is it for now. It is actually 4 p.m. on the dot. So I am about to log off and 
go out with Ty. That's why I'm not working till five because I'm gonna go out with him. And while I'm out with him, I'm, I'm probably going to take my iPad and my BEC book and study while we're on the road. Isn't the CPA life just lovely? Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Good morning. Today is hump day and I am tired. I'm so sleepy. We didn't get in until after nine o'clock last night, which is not a normal for me because I don't go anywhere. So uh, yeah, I'm tired. I didn't get up this morning. I didn't study. So we have some making up to do, but the making up won't get done today because I have things to do after work. It's 7.38 now. I'm logging in a little early on my computer because I just have to make adjustments to my grocery pickup order. I put in a grocery order Monday night, but there are a few things that I forgot to put on the list. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add those on there. The cutoff is nine o'clock this morning. So I have an hour and a half to do that. Today, I'm only gonna be working on a few things that's gonna take up majority of my time. So I left my iPad upstairs. So I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna be working on today. So we have fixed assets that need to get set up in our system. There are about, well I said yesterday, I think there are about 16 of them that I need to set up today and then after I set all of those fixed assets up I have to go through the warehouse tickets to make sure that all of their tickets got submitted into the system as well so that's just like a quality check for us which I do every month and that's pretty much going to take up my entire day including my daily stuff that I do every morning which is the daily financial and the interface batches so that's pretty much what I'm going to do today. I think that all of this should be able to get done. Like I said, as long as I don't have any distractions, those four things on my list should get done, but we'll see. So I'm just about to put in my grocery order. I am going to call my mom back and I am going to try to get my life together because I just want to crawl back in the bed and go back to sleep. So I will see you guys a little later. Hi. What's up guys? The time is now 2.25. So we're more than halfway through the work day. And I was on track to finish everything that I had on my list. But for the fixed assets, they changed some account codes in the system. While trying to set the account codes up, I got a few error messages. So I'm waiting for my manager to fiddle around with that and give me the go ahead that it's fixed and I can start working on that. But honestly, that probably won't get done today. So I'm gonna move on to something else. There is one journal entry that I forgot to do yesterday. I didn't put it on my list. So I am going to do that today. And then if I have time, which I should, cause it's only 2.30, I'm going to start prepping some stuff for tomorrow. I'll be in the office and to make my day a little bit shorter, I'll prep some stuff today so that I don't have to do it when I get in the office in the morning. So they're just miscellaneous invoices that I have to send out. I don't bill our regular customers, just the miscellaneous customers that we have. So I do it usually at the end of the month, which sometimes it's maybe like 10 to 15 invoices, if that, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep some of those along with the journal entries, and then I will be done for the day. I have a nail appointment after work, and then I am going to come home and edit a video so that you guys can see that tomorrow. That's gonna be my day for today. I did put in a grocery order, so Ty's gonna pick that up when he gets off work but I'll be gone by the time he gets here. So he's gonna have to put the groceries up all on his own. So that's pretty much it for today. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Two more days left in this week. Well, day and a half for me because I'm leaving early on Friday for my doctor's appointment. And then, yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Toodles. Good morning, good morning. Today is Thursday and the time is now 6.48. So I actually just finished 
reviewing a BEC. I wanted to get in more hours than I did this morning, but I did not wake up on time and it took me a little longer to get dressed than I thought it would. I feel like every day I'm just moving slower and slower and slower. So going forward, I just need to allot a little more time to get dressed in the morning. What I'm about to do now is I'm gonna log into my computer to fill out my COVID assessment. My job requires before we go into the office to fill out your COVID assessment so that you know you're not going into the office and you have any symptoms. So I need to do that. I'm trying to leave by seven. It's 6.50 now. So if I leave by seven, I can get to work like around 7.30 and I can start work. That way I'm making up my time that I need to make up for leaving early on Friday, which is tomorrow. While this is loading, when I go into the office today, I am going to deposit some checks some miscellaneous checks that we received. I am going to send out some miscellaneous invoices. And I think that is it for today. I should be in the office too long today, but like I said, things happen. So there's not a lot that I have to do when I go into the office today. I do have a meeting with my supervisor at 1 p.m. So I'm going to try to leave work by 12 so that I can be home for the meeting and I don't have to stay at work. I'm gonna go through and answer these questions. Do you have a fever of 100.4 or higher or a sense of having a fever? No. Do you have a cough that cannot be attributed to another health condition? No. Do you have shortness of breath that cannot be attributed to another health condition? No. Do you have a sore throat that cannot be attributed to another health condition? No. Do you have muscle aches that cannot be attributed to another health condition or specific activity? No. Do you have chills that cannot be attributed to another health condition? No. Do you have loss of taste or smell? No. To your knowledge, have you come in close contact within less than six feet for 15 minutes or over a 24 hour period with someone known to have COVID-19 or suspected to have COVID-19 in the past 14 calendar days? No. Were all your previous responses no? No, I hit yes. And then there's today's date, and I am the employee, and I can attest to the information above. And then I just submit it. And I log out, and that's that. So now, I'm just gonna respond to this email before I go in. Let's see if I can answer this question fairly quickly before I leave for work. Okay. So that took a little longer than expected, but it's only 7.07, .07, so I am going to go ahead and head out. I have all of my stuff already downstairs. The car is started so that it can warm up, and I will see you guys when I get back from work. Bye. Um, so I am back home. In the span of me leaving work and going home, I got bombarded with emails. <laughs> okay. Two. Okay, so it is now 1241 and I have a meeting in 20 minutes. I did come home to a package. So before I get any work done, I am going to see what's in my package because I don't know what it is. So it says a bunch of stuff for baby. So all of this stuff is from God, mommy. It's really pissing me off because Target is not putting any shipping information in these boxes when they ship them. So if I don't check my registry, most of the time I don't even know who the gift is from. But I did see that God Mommy bought this stuff. So she got some socks. And we have some hats here. Oh, I think it's gonna be so small. And then we have some sleepers. These are so cute. Boxes. And then something that is not completely pink. I've been trying so hard to find stuff that's not all pink. It's driving me crazy. And then we have some onesies here. With some bunnies and stuff on them. Polka dots. 
And then I have uh, two huge bottles of dress so that we can wash all of her clothes that she's gonna get on Saturday. Saturday is her baby shower. So it did come with it if I didn't know who it was from. And all of it is from God Mommy. So thank you God Mommy for this stuff. I'm gonna take a picture and let her know that I got everything. And to thank her. It's 12.47, so there's no point in me digging into anything. So I'm just gonna shoot a few emails out in the span of now and my meeting at one. And then after my meeting, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Let's see what goes on in my meeting and then that'll pretty much determine what I will do for the rest of today. first section of BEC. How's it going? I'm gonna have to write notes to retain this information because it just went in one ear and out of the other. But the time is now 7.30, so I'm gonna log in early to get my last 30 minutes in to make up my time. There is a lot that I have to do. So I'm gonna try to knock out a lot of stuff this morning. I am leaving at 1.30 today for my doctor's appointment. So I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can between now and 1.30. I got majority of the fixed assets done yesterday, which was good. Uh, my manager just has to approve them. She may come back, you know, have questions, tell me to adjust some things. But as for right now, when I, Logged out yesterday, everything was fine. I have contributed assets that I had to work on. So basically the county gives us assets. So we have to set those up. What else? Um, a handful of my journal entries were approved. So I'm gonna start working on those recs today as well. I'm trying to get everything done and out of the way because I have goals that I have to meet. And being that I'm gonna be out for three months, it's like, okay, I have to get on this now so that when I come back, I'm not bombarded with a bunch of work. So we are going to log in and see what we got going on for today. I will make a list of things that I do want to get done. I don't know how much will get done, but we'll see what happens. Today is Friday. Happy Friday, you guys. I made it through another week. So let's go ahead and make my to-do list. Go ahead and start recording. Okay, so. Things we have to do today. that I would like to get done today. It doesn't have to be done today, but if I can get it done today, it would be great. So I'm going to just start working on this stuff to knock it out of the park. And let's see how, how much I can get done by 1.30.
Okay guys, so the time is now one o'clock and I got a good amount of things done today. I'm pretty proud of myself. So if we go back to my to-do list, everything with fixed assets was completed. So I did the adjustments, I did the asset disposals, contributed assets, I updated the Excel document and I cleaned, cleaned out unposted and I did the daily financial and the interface batches. As far as reconciliations go, I did the CSS rec, the contract escrow, city works, sump pump, unearned, and I also did the AP checklist. So I did things that wasn't going to take up much time. So all that I have left to do is capital inventory, tap donations, and city works to JDE. So those ones are a little more time consuming. So I will save those for Monday. And then there's only a few other things that I have left to do for closing. So I'm moving along fairly quickly. So I can start working on my goals for the year. But being that I only have 30 minutes left, I need to update my weekly report. Being that we're working from home, we have to pretty much make a to-do list of what we did for the week and save it. Um, so I need to go ahead and do that. And then I am going to head to my doctor's appointment. And that is my week in life. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you have any questions about what I do, go ahead and leave the questions in the comments. I do work for a utility company. I mentioned it in one of my videos before. I don't think I mentioned it in the beginning of this video, but I work for a utility company in the accounting department as I am a staff. Account. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!